in this tutorial one just to try how we can solve this question okay so now this question is under vectors we are trying to find the resultant so how can we find the resultant we have got five different vectors acting on the xy plane okay so we know that if you have been given vectors we are trying to to find the resultant we need first to resolve each vector into x and the y component okay but the best thing to do is uh, to come up with what we call the table components so what is the table components okay so here is the table components here is the table components we are going to have um four columns we're going to have the column for the vector so this will be the column for the vector and then we're going to have also the column for the x component and then we need also to have the component the column for the y component also we need to have the column for the theta okay so what we're going to do now is uh, i'm going to put this meaning on top of here i'm supposed to put vectors this is a column for the vectors which we have been given then this is the column for the x component this is the column for the y component and this is the column for the theta meaning the angle which we have been given okay so how many vectors do we have we have vector one so we're going to start with vector one here we have f1 what is our f1 our f1 is 19 newton so i'm going to put 19 newton here okay so if i'm trying to resolve a vector into x component what do we do okay basically we know that it's going to be uh 19 cos the angle now what angle are we going to use so if you have got the xy if you have got a vector which is uh pointing toward east meaning the angle here is zero okay so in this line the angle is zero if you have um maybe you are being you, you, you are confused if we have got the xy plane here then we have got a vector which is pointing in this direction so this vector the angle is going to be zero okay if the vector is pointing toward north this is east this is north this is south this is west if a vector is pointing toward the north the angle is 90 if the vector is pointing toward east the angle is zero if the vector is pointing toward west the angle is 180 if the vector is pointing toward south the angle is 270 degrees okay so now what we need to understand is that uh, since we are trying to resolve it into x component we know what to do so we are supposed to say 19 so it's going to be the f we are going to get the f1 x is going to be equal to we have 19 then cos what the angle which we have which is going to be zero degrees okay so now what would be if i if i get my calculator and then i say 19 cos 19 cos uh, 0 degrees i'm going to get a 19 okay meaning we have 19 here so we go to the y component the y component we know that is going to be f1 y is going to be equal to 19 sine sine 0 degrees okay so 19 sine 0 degrees we are going to get if you punch on your, your calculator it's going to give us zero okay so now this column which have put fit you you need just to put the angle which you have been given so which angle are we using here we're using zero degrees okay so i'm done with the vector i'm done with the vector f1 in short vector one okay then i can cross then i go to the next i will now go to what i'll go to f2 so we have f2 as 15 newtons so we're trying to resolve this one into x component so it's going to be f2 x is going to be equal to what do we have we have got 15 which angle are we going to use we are going to use 64 because we are getting the angle from positive x axis until it touches the vector so as we can see there we have got 64 degrees okay so we're going to use 64 so we're going to have 64 here i can put there and then we have um we have 15 cos 64 degrees okay so what is our f2 x our f2 x is going to be equal to if we do 15 we have cos 64 what are we getting i'm getting 6.6.575 6 so i can just say 6. Uh, five eight okay and then what of um, f2 y 
So f2y is going to be equal to, it's going to be 15 sine 64, because we are talking about the y component. So what are we going to have now? We are going to have uh, 15 sine 64. So I'm getting 13.48. 13.48. .4 Okay, so now we can now, we are done with F2. We need to go to F3. Okay, then let's go now to F3. So we have our F3, which is going to be, we have our F3, which is uh, 16 newtons. Now, which angle are we going to use for F3? Remember, I said, we are supposed to get the angle from positive x axis until it touches the vector. So we are trying to get that angle and we have been given this angle only. So we are supposed to say 180 minus 45. Okay? So it's 180 minus 55. Mi minus 45, sorry. So we have 135. So 135 is the angle which you are going to be using. So I can put this 135 here and then we are going to say that in F3x is going to be equal to 16 cos 135. Okay? So what are we getting? So if we get 16, we have 16 cos 135. Okay? I'm getting negative 11.31. Okay, let's go now to F2. So we, we have got in y, in, in y component, we have this. I'm supposed to put Y there. Okay, in, for the sake of space, let me just write it here. F3Y is going to be equal to 16 sine 135. So what will be our answer there? So it's going to be um, 16 sine 165 sine 135 sorry sine 135 so i'm getting 11.3 11 11.3 11 11.3 11 okay so we are done with the we are done with the f3 so we need to go to we need to go to um, the next one which is going to be F4. Okay? So what is our F4? Our F4 is um, 11 newtons. Is 11 newtons. That is our F4. So here is going to be F4x is going to be equal to what? which angle are we going to use? Remember, we want to get the angle from positive x axis until it touches this line. So we're supposed to get 180. We know that from this line all the way to this line is 180. So we're supposed to say 180 plus 30, okay, for us to reach uh, on vector 4, F4. So we're going to say 180, 180 plus uh, 30. So we're going to get 210, okay? So meaning the angle which we're going to use there is 210 degrees. So we're going to have... Um, we are going to have um, the 11 here, cos 210. Okay? So what is 11 cos 210? So I'm getting negative 9. I'm getting negative 9.526. So I can just say negative 9.53. Negative 9.53. Okay? So we go to the next one. We have f4y which is going to be equal to we're going to have um, 11 sine 2 10 degrees so what would be the answer we have 11 sine 2 10 degrees so I'm getting negative 55 okay I'm getting negative 55 oh negative 5.5 .5, sorry not negative 55 but uh, negative 5.5 Okay, so I'm done with the F. Okay, I'm done with the F4. We go to the last one, which is F5. So we have our F5. 
as 22 newtons now we are trying to find f5x is going to be equal to which angle are we going to use remember it's going towards south okay so if a vector is going towards south the angle is 270 so here i'm supposed to use 270 degrees okay so it's going to be uh, 22 cos 270 degrees so what are we going to have we have 22 cos 270 which is giving me 0 then we have um now we have in y direction we are going to have 22 sin 270 okay what are we getting so um we have 22 22 sin 270 where well, I'm getting negative 22 okay so that is the the, w the last one and then I do this so now after coming up with the X and the Y component what comes next okay what we need to do is um, we need now to add the X component alone and the Y components alone Meaning, if I add those two guys, I'm getting the resultant. So, what I'm going to do now is this. I'm going to continue here and say, this line here, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have the resultant here. I'm going to have this. Okay. So, I'm going to have the resultant here, which I don't know. Then, I'm going to have the Rx now. The resultant now in x component even here the resultant now in y component so what we're trying to do is we're going to add all the x components so what what do we have the value we have got 19 then next we have f2 now the x component is 6.58 so i'm going to say plus 6.58 and then plus we have got negative there so i can just put minus 11.31 and then again I have got minus 9.53 so as you can see I'm just adding the X components alone okay now the next one the F5 now the X component which you have is 0 plus 0 okay so what I'm getting there is uh, I'm getting 4.7 4.74 I have 4.7 Seven four, meaning this is the x component or the resultant. Okay, once more, maybe we made we, we made a mistake. We are saying nineteen plus six point five eight, then minus um eleven point three one minus minus um nine point five three plus zero. Okay, yeah, I'm getting the same one. So let's also add the Y component. So we have got 0 plus 13.48 plus 11.31 minus 5.5 minus 22. Okay, so I'm getting negative. I'm getting negative 2.71. Okay, so the angle we also don't know. Okay, cool. Now, after finding the X component and the Y component, what we are supposed to do is we need to find the, the resultant. Now, for us to find the resultant, what we are going to do is we are going to say the resultant, I put the arrow there, is going to be equal to the square root of Rx squared plus Ry squared. Okay? So, we are going to go there and plug in the values. So, we have 4.74 squared plus we have negative 2.71 now we square it what are we getting okay so we have 4.74 squared <coughs> plus mm, negative 2.71 squared the answer i'm getting i square root it i'm getting 5.2 I'm getting the resultant as 5.46 5.46 newtons 
That is my resultant. Now, a vector can't stand alone without the direction. So we need to find the direction. So how do we find the direction? For us to come up with the direction, we need first to know in which quadrant are we expecting our angle to be. So as you can see, our x component, our x component is in um is positive meaning our x component is positive our y component is what is negative definitely we know that from this the x y prime this is negative x this is positive oh this is also negative y this is negative x this is positive sorry positive x then you have got it positive y so our po this is positive okay and then we have got negative definitely our angle is supposed to fall in the third quadrant sorry in the fourth quadrant now if it falls in the fourth quadrant the the theta which we are going to get we are going to say 360 minus the theta which we are going to find here okay so now let's go ahead and find our 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 direction so we know that it's going to be the theta is going to be equal to tan tan inverse then you have got the ry over rx so we are going to have if I plug in the values, what is ROI? Our ROI is now just ignore the negative. Don't even include the negative here. Seven one, everything divided by four point seven four. Okay, ignore the negative and then throw those in simple principles. So we have got shift, then turn, open the brackets. We have two point seven one, and then we divide this one by four point seven four. Okay, so I'm getting 29.75. So I can just say it's the same as I say 29.8 degrees. So this angle is in the is in fourth quadrant. So what I'm I'm supposed to do for me to find the direction, the angle which they want, I'm going to say therefore 360 minus 29.8 degrees. So my final answer is going to be uh, 360 minus 29.8 so I'm getting 330.2 degrees so this is the direction they are looking for from positive x axis so basically this is how you answer such kind of question okay